Hello, Paradise Panther artists. This is Mrs. Telfer, and I am excited to share with you our last master artist for this school year. His name is Grant Wood, and he was born in 1891 and died in 1942. He was an American painter who is best known for his paintings of the Midwest. His most famous painting was American Gothic, a painting that some of you might recognize today. So let's get ready to learn about Wood's early years on the farm and how he became a professional artist. Have you ever been to a dentist? Has the dentist ever examined your teeth? Go ahead and show me a great big smile if you have clean and healthy teeth. Now you can close your mouth and relax as I tell you what a dentist can possibly have to do with art. When our artist, Grant Wood, was planning his most famous painting, he needed two people to be models, one woman and one man. He thought for a long time about the faces of all of his friends family, and people in his small town. And guess who he chose as the man to model for his painting? His dentist! But he was still on the lookout for just the right woman to pose with his dentist. Grant Wood had one sister, and of course, he knew her face very well. He chose Nan, his sister, to pose with his dentist friend, Byron. So let's now see a photograph of these two models that Grant Wood chose to pose for his painting. Do you think they'll look happy and excited about being chosen? Let's take a look. Can you make your expression match the faces you see here? We can see that Nan and Byron are far from looking happy. When Grant first asked each of them to pose, they both said no. But he kept asking and asking and finally they agreed. But they had one important request with which Grant had to agree. They wanted him to promise that when he painted their portrait, no one would ever recognize them. They wanted to keep it a secret from their friends and neighbors. Now, you've seen the people who Grant painted in the foreground of his canvas. Let's discover what he chose to be in the background. In fact, he chose the background even before he selected Nan and Byron. That's how important it was. He drove around his neighborhood until he found a house that really caught his attention. And he took this photograph. Grant Wood said, this house gave me an idea to find two people who, by their severely straight-laced characters, would fit into this home. To make sure he got all the details exactly right, he took this photograph. Mr. Wood used the expression straight laced to refer to the people who would live in that house. To get an idea of how he posed his sister and dentist, let's pretend you have tightly pulled laces all around your body from your neck to your waist. Show me how you would sit straight up tall with a straight, rigid back. Is that how Grant Wood posed Nan and Byron in the foreground of this house? I think it's time now that we looked at the finished painting. This is the very famous painting titled American Gothic by Grant Wood. When it was first shown, crowds gathered around it and ignored all the other paintings. Grant Wood became almost an instant celebrity. Let's first focus on the foreground. 
Do the man and woman look straight laced? Like they have tightly pulled laces all around their body from their neck to their waist? Yes, they do. Would you recognize Nan and Byron even if they were dressed differently? Yes, we would. So did Mr. Wood follow their request not to paint them so people would recognize them? No, he certainly did not. In fact, Byron was furious at Wood for breaking that promise. At his dental office, people began asking him, you're not going to use a pitchfork on me, are you? Do you think Dr. Byron liked that joke? No way. And for several years, Dr. Byron would not admit that he had posed for Grant. Even though Grant Wood didn't change their faces, he did change many other things in his models. Let's find the changes together. Go ahead and point to what is different about Nan. Are you pointing to her hair, her clothes, or the shape of her face? That's great. To make sure Nan looked very straight-laced, Grant had her comb her hair straight down toward her ears with a part in the exact center. But do you see a lock of her hair hanging down? Mr. Wood let that lock escape to show that she was, after all, human and not so perfect. He also changed the shape of her face to make it longer and more oval. Can you make a circle with your hands? Now, move your hands to make the circle longer, to become an oval. That's great. He wanted her face to be longer, like the dentist's long face. Now, take your oval and make a really long oval, just like the man's face. Go ahead and stretch your hands almost as far as you can. Mr. Wood was determined to place their long-lined faces next to the long-lined house. His dentist naturally had a very long face, and he changed his sisters to match as well. Now, let's look at their clothing, which he changed from the way they always dressed. He wanted to show them as father and daughter, and good, solid, simple, hard-working people from Iowa, where Mr. Wood lived. But where is Iowa? Let's take a look at a map of the United States to find out. Can you find Iowa on this map of the United States? Iowa is about in the middle of the United States and it is spelled I-O-W-A. Go ahead and point to it on the map when you find it. It's a state that is an orangey red color Good job, you found it. Iowa's flatlands and low rolling hills make very good farmland. Grant Wood planned to show the plain, practical beauty of the Iowa landscape and its people. Let's see how Grant Wood combined the foreground and background together in so many clever ways. Are you good at searching? Okay, here we go. See if you find some of the things that I do. Go ahead and point to where their mouths are shut as tightly as the shades of the porch windows. Can you point to their mouths and to the shades in the window? 
Very good. Now, can you find where the shape of the large pitchfork held by the man is seen again in the stitching of his overalls? Point to the pitchfork. Now, point to the design that is in the shape of a pitchfork on his overalls. Way to go. Now I want you to point to where the small dotted circle pattern and the color on Nan's apron is repeated in the window curtain. Can you point to the pattern on her apron and then point to the pattern that you see on the window curtain? Great job searching. Next, let's find the vertical stripes that are on the father's shirt. Those stripes are repeated in the boards of the house and the tines of the pitchfork. Go ahead, point to the stripes on his shirt. Now, point to the vertical lines of the boards on the house. For our last search, go ahead and start at the pointed peak of the house. Follow the slanted lines of the roof on both sides. Where do the roof lines end? Yes, you'll see that the roof on both sides ends at the people's heads. Doesn't that cleverly bring it all together? The house, the father, and the daughter? Yes, it does. Grant Wood grew up on a small farm in Iowa until he was 10 years old and moved to town. His farm raised cows, turkeys, ducks, and chickens. He loved all his farm animals, just like pets. Can you guess which pets he loved the most? Let's find out. Did you guess that Grant Wood loved his chickens the most? He also loved to paint chickens when he grew up. Here we can see his favorite kind of chicken. Can you imagine a wild chicken posing for a painting? No, I can't imagine it either. One of Grant's chores as a boy was to milk the cows. Have you ever milked a cow? This is one of Mr. Wood's memories. All the really good ideas I ever had came to me while I was milking a cow. So he drew on those good memories with this simple painting. Grant's parents were very poor. They didn't have a telephone, radio, cars, or even electricity. Grant entertained himself by drawing all kinds of pictures of the things around him. He loved to explore the nearby countryside where they grew, they grew lots of Corn. Do you like corn on the cob? Just like this boy? Grant Wood painted young corn growing in the field as well. The title of this landscape is Young Corn. A landscape is a painting of the outdoors. Go ahead and show me with your fingers how many people are working in the cornfield. Yes, we can count three people. Now, let's find the broccoli trees. Do you think the trees really looked like this? No, you're right. Grant chose to make the patterns in the trees to decorate this landscape. Do they look realistic? No, they don't. Grant didn't want to paint this to look like a photo. Anyone can do that, he said. 
It was a style all his own. Let's now travel forward from young corn growing in the Iowa fields to fall harvest and plowing the fields. Can you find the plow in this photo? This farm tool makes the parallel lines as it digs up the land after the corn has been picked. Take your hands now and stretch them straight out in front of you. Your arms are now parallel, just like the rows you see. Let's look at how Mr. Wood changed it in his painting. Can you see how the hills take up nearly all of his canvas? Great! You can see the sky at the top is a very narrow rectangle. Go ahead and point to the plow in the foreground. How is it moved? Let's see if you are right. What provides the power to the plow? You're right, it is moved by the horse. Go ahead and point to it in the painting. You will be making parallel lines for your crops in your art activity. We have a secret way to do this that doesn't need a horse. Wood's style became well known and popular for both his portraits and landscapes. But his most popular painting is still American Gothic. This famous painting is often copied in a funny way. Let's enjoy some of those copies. We can't forget to introduce you to our master artist, Grant Wood. Do you think he will have a long lined face? Will he hold a pitchfork? Or wear overalls? Let's find out. Did you guess that he would be wearing overalls? Well done. In nearly all of his posed photographs, Grant chose to dress in overalls just like his dentist friend did in his famous painting. Does he look straight laced or does he seem friendly and relaxed? Yes, he looks relaxed. To be a good American artist like Grant Wood, you need to know the art words that you see here. Let's start with the oval. Go ahead and show me with your finger and draw the shape of an oval in the air. Great! Now, using your two hands, go ahead and stretch them out to show me parallel lines. Very good! Now, can you point to something that has a pattern in the room where you are? Well done. Next, can you help me fill in these missing art words that we have been learning all year long? Get ready, here we go. A picture of land is called a landscape. Go ahead and point to it on the slide. A picture of a person is called a portrait. The front of a painting is called the foreground. The back of a painting is called the background. The opposite of dreamlike or make-believe is realistic. Well done. You are definitely ready to create your own American masterpiece in your art activity.
Way to go, Paradise Panther artists. We just finished traveling to the Midwest to explore Grant Wood's upbringing on the farm. And we analyzed his most famous painting, American Gothic. Over the course of this year, you have learned many different styles and art techniques. And I'm very proud of all the hard work you have put into your art activities. I can't wait for another great year of art as we discover even more master artists next year. Bye for now, Paradise Panther artists.